Hello and welcome to this course about the Blender 3D animation and modeling software. Well, to make things clear, the Blender which we are going to work with is the Blender 3D software and not this Blender. Though by the end of the course, you might be able to model some Blender designs and other things. So with this point noted, let's continue and see what exactly is Blender. So Blender basically is a complete 3D creation tool which integrates multiple things into it. Primarily Blender is used for 3D animation and modeling but it provides you much more. So you can use Blender for real complex work and other things. Being said that, so what are the things that Blender provides us? The uh, most common used interface is its general interface which is about 3D modeling. Here in this interface you can do the 3D modeling and stuff. One of the interfaces that Blender provides you is its 2D animation area where you can uh, do the 2D animation and design and other things. If you want to make some 2D animations this is what you can use for creating 2D designs and making the 2D animations. Other interface that Blender provides is called as the sculpting interface. So Blender provides another mode that is sculpting. Basically it's like how you would have sculpted some object from clay. It provides different tools over here and so on. So you could select some tools which can pull out the clay and so on. Using this you could sculpt different designs. Apart from that Blender also provides you an interface for your 3D modeling, VFX, video editing. That means if you have created an animation or movie you could edit here itself in a Blender itself. You don't have to go and look for another software. And obviously if you are into Blender you would be wanting to do some kind of animation or modeling. So like here we have a simple guitar which has been modeled over here. You could see the rendered output how it looks and if you want you could have animated the same. So saying so we can uh, see that Blender provides us quite interesting functionalities and work that you can do with Blender can be amazing. So with that, that's a basic introduction to Blender. You don't need to get scared of the interface. We'll be discussing about each and every part of Blender through the course as and when required rather than getting into details of each and everything immediately. So this is your Blender interface. In the next part, we will discuss about downloading and initializing Blender.